Welcome to week 13. This is day 87 of the Sure Word for today's Bible verse of the day, authored by Jefferson Otenbara Inbi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Sure Word for today's Bible verse of the day. The Sure Word for today's Bible verse of the day is taken from the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 3. Reading from the King James Version. Quote. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. Unquote. The thoughts on the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. Hosea predicts that the people of Israel will return to the Lord after a period of judgment. Come, and let us return to the Lord, for he has torn, but he will heal you. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us so that we may live in his sight. Let us know. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. The latter and former rains are called the winter rains and spring rains in the New International Version of the Holy Bible. The Lord had torn and stricken his people. Hosea predicts that God will discipline them because they were unfaithful to the covenant they had promised to keep. While the judgment would be certain and severe, God would demonstrate his grace and restore the people. He would heal them and bandage their wounds. God would come to them like a refreshing and nourishing rain. He would come like the latter and former rain, which would refer to the early rain after planting and the latter rain at harvest. Because of God's promises, his people could know with certainty that God would keep his word, that he would indeed come to them as the latter and former rain to restore and refresh. While the context doesn't specify when this restoration would occur, the passage seems to point to the salvation provided through the Messiah. God would revive them after two days and raise them on the third day. This prophecy seems to correlate directly with Jesus' death, as he died, was buried, and then rose again on the third day. Paul mentions that Christ's resurrection on the third day was according to the scriptures, or writings. You have been privileged to have God's grace and mercy at your disposal. God blesses us with new grace and mercy every day. Grace is when God gives us blessings we do not deserve. Mercy is when God omits the punishment we deserve. God's mercy is fresh and new every morning. The mercy he gave you yesterday is not remembered, as there are new mercies for you today. His mercy never runs dry. His grace gives you hope every day. God's grace is sufficient for those that believe and trust him until the end. Let us pray. Come, and let us return to the Lord. For he has torn, but he will heal us, he has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us, on the third day, he will raise us up so that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning, he will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. The cry of my heart, Lord, is that we would return to you. We want to fix our eyes on you in all we do and say. We pray the same for our nation, a return to you. Lord, let us pursue your knowledge, not the ways of the world. May it be so. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you want to support our work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video and don't forget to share the sure word Bible verse of the day. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.